Hello, this is part two. In the previous video, we added a new Windows Server 2022 as a domain controller. So now we have two domain controllers. One is running Server 2012, and the new one is running Server 2022. Now, if you're uh, happy with keeping both domain controllers, that's fine. But in this video, I'm going to show you how to demote the old domain controller, which is the 2012 the 2012, the, the 2012, and we're gonna have to move the FISMO roles to the new domain controllers. Now, if your FISMO roles are not in this box, you don't have to move them, but if, you, if they are, you would have to move them. There are five FISMO roles, and here's how we move them. You go to Active Directory Users and Computers, Operation Masters, and as you can see, it's telling me the RID is currently on this machine, which is the 2012. And if I want, I can transfer it to the new machine. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Are you sure you want to transfer? Yes. And now it's telling me that this is the operation master, which is the new machine. I'm going to go to the PDC and do the same thing. And then the infrastructure, I'm going to do the same thing. Now there are five of them, I just did two. The next one will be done through Active Directory Domains and Trust. So you go to Tools and then Active Directory Domains and Trust, right click, Operation Masters. So this is the domain naming Operation Master. You simply click, click Change, it says yes. And that's the fourth one. Now the fifth one, we go to the new server, the new domain controller that we have, that, that we provisioned, which is the 2022. So we go to the new server and we need to open Microsoft Management, Management Console, and it's located under C Windows 30, System 32, MMC. We run as administrator. Click on File, Add, Remove, Snap In. So you would look for Active Directory Schema, and if you can't find it, you simply have to open a command prompt, run it as an administrator, and run this command, regsvr32 schema management.dll and hit enter. You will get this pop-up saying that it, was, it succeeded. You'd hit leave here and go again. As you can see, the schema is there now. So you add it, you say OK. Now you go to right click and go to Operation Masters. And it's showing me the old domain. So I'm going to, I'm going to just right click here and say change Active Directory Domain Controller. And go to the new one. And right click again, and I did say it's showing me that I can change it right now. So I'm going to say change. All right, now that the, now that the FISMO roles have been moved, all we have to do is demote the old domain controller, which is this one, the uh, 2012 box. And the way we do that is we go to the server manager, manage, remove roles and features. Next, make sure you're highlighting the correct server. Next. So what we're going to do is uncheck the Active Directory Domain Services. And what that's going to do is actually trigger the demoting process. It's not going to really be removing it. So I'm going to remove, hit, hit, uh, hit remove. And as you can see, it's saying that we need to demote this domain controller first. And that's why we're doing it. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. Do not check for the removal of, the, of this domain controller. This is only if something is broken and we do not have anything broken. Next, it's telling me that this domain controller is a domain, a DNS server in a global catalog. And I don't really uh, uh, 
necessarily want to keep the DNS server. So I'm going to go ahead and say proceed with the removal. Uh, DNS delegation, we're going to check it. It doesn't really matter. I'm not, I'm not delegating this to external DNS. So whether I check it or not, it doesn't matter. Hit next. Now you need to supply a, a local administrator password, just in case if you want to log in to the, to the controller, to the uh, VM afterwards with a local admin password. Of course, you still can log into the machine with the domain, domain credentials. I'm going to go ahead and provide my passwords here. Click next. And I'm simply going to go ahead and say demote. It's going to take some time and then it's going to reboot. So I'm going to pause the video and comes back when it comes back online. All right, so uh, we're back and the server is back online. We uh, will go back again to remove roles and features and follow the same process. Make sure your, your uh, server is uh, highlighted. And now we'll be removing the domain services. And I'm also going to remove the DNS services and click next, next, remove. This is also gonna take some time. I'm gonna pause the video and come back when it's back. All right, so now it's done as you can see and it's asking us to reboot. I'm gonna go ahead and reboot the server. I'll come back when it's done. All right, now that we're back, if we uh, go to uh, our tools, as you can see, we no longer see Active Directory domain uh, users and computers or anything or DNS. If I log into the new domain controller, which is with this IP, I supply the passwords. And I go to uh, Domain Controllers in AD. And as you can see, we no longer see the other VM, which, which was the Domain Controller. So now we have only one Domain Controller, which is this one, the 2022. And with that, we simply demoted the old 2012 server from a DC to a regular server. Now you can basically delete that server if you want. It's no longer part of the uh, controlling servers. And uh, you have the new domain controller with the new FIGMA roles, and that completes the process. Well, thank you for watching. Please support this channel by liking, subscribing, and sharing. And see you in the next video.